guys coming up on a channel, right? Movie review. You're like, oh man, they're fucking back with another one. Hey, no Again. problem at all. Hey, here's the fucking intro, um, and we'll get down to the review. Rule VT. And welcome back, guys, to the Wolf and the Crows movie review. This week we're reviewing His House, a BBC film. Whose house? His on house. Netflix. Horror. Um, yeah. Which I was immediately drawn to uh, once reading uh, the concept of the film. I was like, "This sounds great." I had doubts whenever you told me about this one. Why? Because of the premise of the film being um, a refugee couple mm -hmm. that come to England mm -hmm. and are put up in a council house and the council house is haunted. I mm -hmm. was like, how's, how's, a, how's a, a mid-terrace council house being haunted and the ones we said it aren't? But I give it a go and then I thought, the only way this is going to work is if... How's any house haunted? And then, what? Stand alone, just... Oh, he's a, where's the ghost? He's next door. I mean, the Alex, the Alex are all joined, like, you know, but... It works, it works because it's not, yeah, it's not the house that's haunted. Okay then. But that was my, my sort of, is this going to work? You find the weirdest th things, you find the weirdest things, like, uh, how come the neighbours aren't complaining about the post? Like, uh, what? Right, okay, fair enough, okay. right, if that's your main concern. That was I, my main concern going into it. No. I, 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 I was like, this this will be crap, this isn't going to work. I but I was well, very, very wrong. Guys, we have uh, uh, Wumni Musaku. Yep, we've got a... Uh, Tsupe. Derasu. And yep. we've got... Remy Weeks. As the two, as the two um, what you would call uh, main characters in this. Yes, yeah, husband uh, and wife. Husband and wife. The escaped refugees coming to England to find better life. You know what I mean? Yep. Directed by Remy Weeks. Remy Weeks. Rel relatively new. Relatively new. His, his first big project. What we call? Yeah, yeah. yeah through IMDb research. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and what a way to start. Yeah, fantastic film. From what I can tell by researching Remy Weeks, the director, he is um a film editor and writer. So it looks like um. He, you know, this is some fucking his experience in the film industry through writing and film editing. Yeah. And he's brought this and, you know, directed his first piece. It, it's, uh, you know, and you can tell from watching it that he had, has a very good understanding of storytelling. It's great. It's yeah. a great film. The, um, it's, fr it's fresh. I suppose you're seeing more of that with more I suppose with films being more accessible mm -hmm. than what they previously were mm -hmm. maybe 10, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. You are getting more new directors coming out, you know, bringing a fresh feel and a, a different sort of approach mm -hmm. to directing that, yeah. you know, just sometimes like this yeah. works out. So, as Bobby said as well, the premise of the film is uh, a refugee couple um, having to come in to uh, England via the the you know the the toughest ways refugees can come into the country via boat over the sea yeah pack boats and stuff like that there which con constant danger and shit like that there so the uh, the film starts off with them coming into England and then of course the Be, being held in the, the, uh, the government body yeah in the detention center and being yeah. allocated a, a house somewhere. allocated a house as well yeah and um yeah had an issue with that. Why? But when they're moving from the detention centre mm -hmm. to their council house, I was like, where in England is this? So the detention centre is going to be round about sort of south England, mm -hmm. around London. Mm -hmm. These boys were travelling through the fucking night and through the day to get to this thing. Right, I mean, I've, okay. dri I've driven from London to Newcastle before. Okay. In five hours. 
Aye, uh, but I've been in the car with you, and it's like a fucking death wagon. So I'm sure these boys were like obeying the speed limit and <laughs> not texting and smoking. So like, uh, so I've no idea where in the country they they are. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to. Uh, yeah, yeah. It still sounds relatively southern by the accents that you hear, but still, it, it, it's you know. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. You know, it could have been first thing in the morning when it was still dark when they left. Okay. You never know. All right. Um, but the yes, and they end up in this council house, and uh, things start to go strange from there. Yeah, they're. Um, I mean, it's it's a very deep thought provoking movie. Mm. Um, Usually, uh, you know, it's 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 all sort of stems from their trauma mm -hmm. back home and through fleeing their country to, to come to the UK. Yeah, because they, um, it's not only them, but the start of the film you hear that they, they lost their daughter while they were crossing the sea. Yeah. They lost their daughter in the sea, um, which... Yeah, you don't want to give too I, much away. I can't like, there's, give there, too I mean, much away on that. There, I mean, it, 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 but it's, it's good twists and stuff. That's that's and the, the, and brilliant twists on it. Yeah. The the fact is as well is that this guy Remy Weeks he uses um, he lets he lets shots hang. You know, and usually I find that bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you know, it slows up. He's done it perfectly. Yeah. Where it's, you know, going, all right, fucking hell, man, this is dragging on, this is slow paced and stuff. But every every shot that he has, especially when they're yeah. being visited, yeah. is heavy, heavy, it has weight to it, and it's it has you watching and waiting to see what the fuck is going to come out of the walls or what's going to be appear behind them and stuff like this, you know? Yeah. It, through this as well, his um, desire, um, his desire to adapt them to adapt into the yeah the British culture yeah and his, yeah, is, is his community me, is making him as well deny yep deny that there is something in the house, and this starts to cause friction between him and his wife. You know, because she's in, she's in full belief that this spirit is inside this house. Yeah. You know, whereas he's like, no, nah, no, nah. he's seen shit, but he's still denying it. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, and you can see. And again, that's that's um, you know, him not dealing with his trauma. Yeah. Yeah. Aye. Uh huh. Um, Matt Smith is also in this. Uh, you will know him from Doctor Who. Yes. He plays the, um, what you would call a liaison. Yeah, don't, he's not quite a social worker, whatever whatever his job is, sort of looking after. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. now, uh, um, you know, at the same time, he, he, he's brilliant. Yeah. He's great at it because you really get the impression that um, a lot of people that work where he, in, you know, what he does, they, 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 they don't give a fuck and they think, job. That, they think that you know most of these refugees are liars and spongers you can get that from the rest of them but yeah. from him yeah. The, from yeah. him you can tell that there's I would love to help you you can tell that he's fucking he, he, he's, he's got the empathy there whereas the rest of them are just completely void and lacking mm. of any sort of empathy whatsoever you can tell that he's got empathy towards him but at the same time you know you just know that he's held back by red tape yes. and policy and things that he must do. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, but, yeah, because there's even a point where uh, he goes to see Matt Smith's character mm -hmm. and asks, I, I want out of the house. And they're like, uh, you know, the two guys in the background are all like, you know, they're, they're, they work with, they, yeah. they work in this government body and they're like you can hear them in the background going it's his house is bigger than mine Aye. What, what's he moaning about he's got a he's got a bigger house than me mm. Mm. yeah and all this kind of thing and one thing I didn't notice in the film is they make a they make a fuss about the um, 
refugee couple make a fuss about the fact that they've got this house. It's a goddamn shithole. But they're like, this is all ours. Yeah. And it seems to be a situation, which is, I thought to myself, that's fucking sad, that. It seems to be a situation which is very rare, and they make a point of telling you that, that it wouldn't really happen for a couple to get a house that yeah. size yes. by themselves. Yeah. You'd be rammed in there with a whole lot of yeah. other yeah, yeah. Gone people. You know? I mean, back to your point of him trying to assimilate into uh, the British culture, mm -hmm. more so than his wife. I mean, even down to, I think the first day he comes home and she's made him a, a meal. Mm -hmm. And he's like, no knife and fork, Mark. Yes. You know, eat, you in know the you're, you're, you're in England now, eat with a knife and fork. African, what are you doing using your hands? African style of sitting on the, f on, the, on the floor with your legs crossed, eating with your hands. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He's like, oh, this is lovely, but we should be eating up at the table. Yeah. And he comes in and gives her a fork. And she's like, oh, all I can taste is the metal. metal. Like, yeah. All that kind of shit. I mean, if, if, so you get used to it. If you do go, I mean, I've travelled a bit. And there's countries that you go to where you'll not use a knife and fork uh -huh. for weeks. Yeah. And then when you come back home, you can't taste the fucking metal. You can. It is. It is like fuck. This is. This is weird. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I eat with my hands all the fucking time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I love it with my hands. It's great. You know. But um, yeah. She can see him. You know. You know, trying to give up on his roots and acclimatize into. Yeah. You know, it shouldn't be like that. You know? Yeah. Come and acclimatize, but hang on to some of your your your, your culture. Rich, your culture where you came from yeah. and stuff like that there. So he's you know, fading away from that, but she's very much still wanting to do it. Yeah. And hold on to something about where they're from. Um one thing as well is uh you know, in the film I was also because it's a great social commentary, apart from being a horror about refugees and the mm. problem and the, and the hardships that they face, um, and not only hardships but you see them standing outside, like just looking at a building, and then the next thing somebody goes, "Hey, are you one of them refugees?" And yeah. you think, "Oh, here we go," and he's standing there and he just looks over and the boy goes, "Morning, I've got something for you." Yeah, and he gives him a big uh, gift, like a like, like, toothpaste, yeah, and whatever else. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it does show that there are, you know, that it isn't all fucking, you know, coming into the country and being subjugated. There yeah. are nice people as well. You know, one thing on the flip side of that is um, her character is walking around the estate and she's looking for directions. She gets, she gets lost, yeah. And she approaches three young black men um, and uh, they absolutely rip the piss out of her yeah go that way go that way go that way and then tell her to I, go, go back to Africa I, and all, all all this type of stuff and even make sort of how do I put this um they do they make uh oh uh N noises uh, they make well it happens in the phone they make mon monkey I hate yeah. saying that they have they make monkey f noises at her. And I was just thinking, you know what? If that's in this film, that exists. Of course it's, it does. It's, it's like black on black xenophobia. And I was like, yeah, that's... That's what, it, that's what you were saying earlier. It's not a, um, a racist thing. It's xenophobia. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the fact of the matter is, like, you know, I was just going, at one point, you're ancestors came here and probably faced the same kind of thing yeah you know and i just thought that terribly sad but if it's exist it, you know the thing about it is the good thing about it included in, in the film is making people aware that it happens yeah. you know and yeah very thought provoking telling telling all sides of the story yeah you know like you know because the guy who calls him on for the essentials is white you know mm. It's showing not all, you know, white people are looking to get refugees out of the yeah. country. Some of them are very welcome and very helpful, you but know. Don't um, want to give too much more away of the film. No, because it's from from the pace and the pace is slow, but it's excellent. That fits so well. Yeah. The camera work is fantastic. The creature effects for what they are. Top notch, like. 
It's brilliant. Yeah. I was like, that's freaking freaky looking. Um, the use of sound and darkness. Um, looking down dark hallways. Yeah. Um, and where they reveal how Remy Weeks has decided to reveal stuff coming out now. I'm yeah. going, whoa, that's good. That's <coughs> excellently done at that moment in time. The acting is fucking superb. Yeah. The acting is second or for second to none. Right? Yeah. So like um like when the Musaku, yes. right? She's been in like what? Uh Fantastic Beasts. I think she's in um Batman vs Superman and shit like this here, but this is this is this is this is acting this is um and Shobe uh Dissuri, uh he has been in Gangs of London. I haven't seen it, you should probably check it out though, apparently it's brilliant. Uh, Michelle Farley's on it, Catelyn Stark. Um absolutely absolutely brilliant. But what are you absolutely what are you gonna give us out of five? How many how many wolves out of five you wanna hit this up with? Four. Four? Four wolves. And the reason why I say that there is again five wolves is is I watched it again then straight away. Okay, yes, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, uh, uh, a five film for me is Django Unchained, mm-hmm. which I've seen multiple, multiple, multiple fucking times. Okay. And I still look up clips of certain scenes in YouTube and shit yeah. like that there. Um, it's not the fact that um, it's not that good that I don't want to watch it again. It's just now I know what happens. Now I know where all the yeah. things happen and stuff like that. In a year or two I'd watch it again okay. but not straight away All right. but 4 out of 5 it's excellent it's an excellent film it's great well I'm also going to give it 4 out of 5 there you gross go. There you 4 go. out of 5 again I, I thought it was a fantastic film mm-hmm. uh, and a great story and thought provoking and yeah. very deep and and loved it um, and then I was thinking you know what? why am I not giving it 5 out of you know, I was like, is it because it's a BBC one? Or I, I don't think that it's lacking anything. It's not lacking anything. But it's just in comparison to what a f- you know a, f- a phenomenal film that you'd want to see again. Aye. You know, it's yeah. You know, it's an excellent four out of five. It's an excellent four out of five. Yeah. Excellent four out of five. Um. E- every scene. Uh. I was interested from start to finish. Yeah. Interested from start to finish. The 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 weight in the in the in the, in the um, what you would call maybe perhaps the horror scenes is fantastic. The use of music is fantastic. The way it then it's hard to say without giving things away, but it's all it's almost like the way it um The way it challenges your your um, relationship with the victims in it. Do okay, you understand yes. what I yes, mean? Yes, I do, yeah. Because yeah. you're going, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, per guy, and then you're going, but then. Yeah. Well, you'll see what the yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. I, mean. I, know what, I know what you mean, yeah. But yeah. yes. So that's a big 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for his house. Uh, whose house his house like, like if this is the type of shit that Remy Weeks is going to pump out hey, I am going more. to be watching more of him and more will be welcomed more of um, Wumni Shoki and Shopee Derisi mm-hmm. we went yeah. over the names before we started this you know <laughs> right Okay. Right, guys, thank you very much for joining us. Go on, fucking watch 100%. it. One hundred percent. It's on Netflix. Get it I don't know US Netflix or something. What's US net- Netflix? Piratebay.org. No yeah. problem at all. Right, but get it watched. Yes, house, get, oh, get it. Well, honestly, watch it. Get it watched and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please do because it's a it's it's a fucking brilliant film. So yeah. it's really good to do a movie review of of good shit. Yes, bringing you something fresh to yeah. Hmm. Oh, I think um, only the way the wolf and the crows can, with lots of swearing 
and not really any structure and just talking about it yeah. you know excellent guys thank you very much for joining us don't forget to like share and subscribe bell join button um sundays for and um live stream live stream yep me and bobby now because we're actually appearing in the live streams are about to take them a hell of a lot more seriously as well right going to a whole new level a whole new level hey yeah. guys thank you very much for joining us only one thing left to do and that's to sign out for the watch the north remembers to go and watch his house Ooh.